Rich Trani with TMC here. Thanks for watching. We're at Interop 2013. Speaking with uh, Ed from Shortel. Ed, welcome to the show. Thanks, Rich. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. So, uh, what are you showing here? We're showing the Shortel dock. Uh, we're announcing the Shortel dock at the show today. And really, what this is, is this is a, a a sort of a new kind of device, if you will, right? So there's sort of a binary right now in the industry between traditional desk phones and soft phones on laptops or PCs. Right? But there's a huge Z-axis, right, that hasn't fully been explored in terms of taking the mobile device, the tablet, the smartphone, and truly integrating that in a meaningful way in the enterprise. So even though users are clamoring to have their mobile device more integrated into their minute by minute, hour by hour, right, work day. And even though IT departments are looking for ways to go more mobile, uh, there have been challenges that prevent a wider adoption of the mobile device as the primary communications device for users. And what the short tail dock does is it overcomes those issues. So I noticed it's a keyboard which, which leads me to believe people still prefer to dial via traditional, I mean your belief they prefer that. That's right, so there, there are really three major issues. Uh, in, if, if, I'm a, if I'm an iPhone user and I want to use that device in the office as my primary means of communication, I have to worry about battery life, I have to worry about perception of call quality. So even if you have a voice over IP client running on that device, and you're doing great things with flow control and, and packet loss concealment and those sorts of things, you're still limited by the little speaker and the little microphone on the device. And then you have the whole ergonomic question. So it's, it's not particularly comfortable for me to hold that phone to my ear or deal with that phone for long conversations during the day. There's that comfort factor of a desk phone and what a desk phone does. What we did with the short tail dock is really pay attention to all of those little subtleties from a usability perspective. All those little things, those little ways that a user um, interfaces and interacts with their desk phone and we replicated it. And these are subtle things that uh, until they're not there, you don't notice. Now, I also notice that there's a Bluetooth button, and so since it, it's a dock and you plug it in, the question is, why would you need Bluetooth? And uh... Yeah, that's right. So what Bluetooth does is really give me a lot more flexibility. So really, I have the dock itself, that 30-pin or that lightning dock, for two reasons. One is for digital audio, and, and the other is for charging. So I want to be able to come in dock my device and allow it to quick charge. We use Apple quick charge technology in here, I can get an iPad charged in 45 minutes. Uh, but by the same token, I can come in with my iPhone in my pocket, Bluetooth connected, and pick up the handset and dial a call like I'm on a regular phone. So, um, the headset button I guess is just like a standard device, right, a standard telephone. Yeah, that's exactly right. So we wanted this to act like a desk phone from a muscle memory perspective, right? So as a user, I want to come in and be able to hit that speakerphone button and have dial tone. I want to be able to pick up the handset and have dial tone. I want to hit the hot keypad, dial a number without doing anything else, and I want that phone to go off hook and dial. So we really paid a lot of attention from, uh, from a fusion of software and hardware getting that experience, even down to the point where what we found was that users, if I go and I dial an incorrect number, in the middle of that dialing, I'll reach for that hook switch, right? So my muscle memory says, go and hit that hook switch and dial again. So we even put a mechanical hook switch in this to accommodate that. But we, we also combined that sort of traditional sort of comfort food area here with the client on, especially on the iPad, really truly utilizing in a meaningful way that real estate that you've got on a large uh, a screen device like this and the multi-touch capabilities and drag and drop capabilities of the iPad to really make the process of, of con you know, grabbing a contact, dialing that contact, transferring, conferencing, doing all those things in a really intuitive way if I want to play up here on the iPad screen to do it. Now, uh, what about pricing? So we're going to price this at 349 lists. So figure that the street price is going to be around you know high 200s, 300 dollars. Um, we feel that where this really competes is against 
of the executive desk sets that are out there, right? So those those that you know fully loaded and licensed those eight hundred, nine hundred, a thousand dollar desk sets, uh, we feel that this provides actually a a significantly enhanced user experience beyond that, to wit, the sort of touch uh, and drag and drop and, and that, and it does it at a really, really attractive price point. And you can drop a mini in there as well, right? Yes, you can. So, so it. Uh, let me just get in here and pop this out. All right. So, this actually, this sort of ruggedized uh, armature that we have here, right, with this T bracket, you can just slide that out. Okay. You can put your you can put your mini bracket in there if you want, or you can leave it like this, and you can put an iPhone in there as well. So it works not only for iPad, but it works for for iPhone uh, as well. And what about the lightning adapter? I, I notice there's a 30 pin on this one. How, how do you get around that? Yep, separate SKUs for the for the lightning and the 30 pin. Excellent. What else should we know? So the other thing that uh, uh, that it, that I just want to point out really quickly here is uh, it, it, as, as we look at the at the iPhone, um, the idea here is for this to be a zero install and zero learning curve device, right? So this is very much an accessory. It's not a device, it's not network aware. All the smarts are in the integration between the software and hardware. So from an IT perspective, I just give that to the user. I say, go plug that in the wall and put your you know, short tail mobility enabled uh, device in there. And you'll notice that when I, when I docked that iPhone, it immediately came up and said, uh, it, it auto launched the application, right? So from a user perspective, I don't have to worry about anything except just plugging this in, putting my device in, and, and going. Excellent, thanks for your time. Thank you, Rich, appreciate it.